Hi, I am Argumanna. Uh, I and my project partner Mr. Dev Kumar Mitra is trying to visually reconstruct uh, the stories from Bengal famine which happened in 1770. This is this project is part of uh, the project adapted by University of Exeter UK, which is called Famine Tales. Uh, since the last couple of, uh, couple of months, we are researching on various narratives uh, by eyewitness and periodicals and other documents. So. Uh, you can see this is my sketchbook uh, for this project particularly and this is the map of Bengal from that time and the story of Bengal famine 1770 is very complex uh, there are multiple partners multiple elements of the story like civil war between the local jamindars and the local kings and the weak economic condition of Bengal and environment played a real role and of course the intervention of East India Company. So the good thing is there is no visual reference as such and the drawing uh, from the British or any European artist. So uh, the field is open for us. Here I have noted down all the record elements and informations like uh, physical environment, the economy and the characters who had played a real role and these are the various, various districts uh, from Bengal map from, uh, from that time and I have tried to be accurate to reconstruct the architectural motifs from various cities like Calcutta you can see Murshidabad uh, from 18th century, Birbhum from 18th century and Patna. The basic plan is to uh, play with the map so that you can see here so that we can superimpose the what happened to the human lives, what happened in the cities, uh, on the map, and other data like rainfall anomalies and uh, other environmental causes. And these are the sketches of uh, Hunter. Uh, Hunter was the author of Annals of Rural Bengal. We are using this book as our primary reference, and uh, these are the sketches. Uh, of Maharaja Randakumar, and this is the sketch of uh, Muhammad Reja Khan. This building is his last residence, and this is the entry of the uh, Dhaka city uh, in 18th century when the famine was happening there. And here I have tried to recreate the Ehabad Treaty, which is the I think one of the most important uh, event behind the Bengal famine. Uh, from this treaty, East India Company got the right of Diwani. Uh, actually, the Robert uh, Clive was the main player, and Muhammad uh, uh, Sujaudullah Shah Alam and Mir Kashim got defeat from East India Company. And I am trying to be accurate to draw the dresses of East India Company soldiers and the Mughal soldiers. So this is the pencil sketch of the Yawa Treaty. Uh, here uh, I was trying to uh, figure out what what was the exact uh, economic exchanges uh, happening at that time in Bengal. So I have tried to uh, recreate the exact depictions of the coins used at the time in Bengal. So uh, so basic plan is to be accurate with the historical informations and recreate those informations visually so that at, uh, at the end we can create a 16 pages graphic narrative uh, with our own narrative, with our own interpretations and, but uh, we parallelly we want to be accurate with the historical information so that's it, right now we are dealing with the uh, dealing with collecting the visual references from the next month, uh, might we will start the start drawing the actual uh, pages to create the graphic story. That's it.